Hello and welcome to the Redmond Muay Thai channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little review of uh, some new uh, boxing gloves that I just received. So, I mean, you could call these uh, Muay Thai gloves because they are the, you know, they are a Muay Thai uh, purposed type of glove, but as a lot of people know, if they've been training, it's like there's not a huge difference and you know you could just as well be using boxing gloves for Muay Thai or Muay Thai gloves for boxing. Anyway the model that I have uh, got today is the uh, Twins uh, special uh, glove. It's actually one of the most uh, common gloves that I've seen in, uh, in Muay Thai I would say like it would be between these and uh, Fairtex, uh, the red regular uh, Fairtex BGB uh, one. Um, so you know uh, the reason why I got these gloves or why I ordered these gloves to uh, uh, to have in my club is because uh, I've had some Twins products before and and. Uh, almost all the the twins products that I've had um, have been a great quality uh, equipment so um, I use their uh, competitive shin guards or they have like the I think they're the SGL3 uh, shin guards and I thought they were great they, they fit great and they they're very slim and they're nicely uh, designed uh, and of course I've tried the twin gloves on before I've looked at their pads and and I've read online and pretty much everything said everything that people say about twins is that you know they're a, a brand that's been around forever and they're great quality uh, products um, usually no complaints really well you know the complaints would probably usually be personal preference you know and personal preference can come down to uh, different details. So we can talk about that with these gloves where uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get these gloves is because I had uh, the Fairtex, well I have them, the Fairtex BGV uh, 1, their most common glove. And for me I had the problem that um, they are, they were too big I thought for my hands. Oh, maybe if you if you have uh, big hand wraps they will fill it out a bit more and maybe some tighter gloves uh, don't uh, need or I mean you will have a harder time to fit your hands in if you have hand wraps whereas you know uh, I might get a lot of shit for this but I don't use hand wraps when I train because I've never had any problems with my wrists and I find them annoying to put on and off. Um, although I do recommend them to most people because I do meet a lot of, I train with a lot of people and I train a lot of people who have problems with their wrists. They get sore wrists when they're punching. And, you know, I did use hand wraps for the first uh, years that I trained. And for the first years, I did also get sore wrists. So it can just be a matter of training your wrists and 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 getting the proper technique like for instance now i would be able to punch a, a punching bag without any hand wraps and it wouldn't wouldn't be a problem so anyway enough talking general talking we will we're gonna take a little look at these gloves um you know they look very nice uh they look solid um, you know, the, I think that they're, they're kind of big, uh, at the end, but like nothing crazy, uh, they're, but they're not the, the slimmest glove, definitely not. Um, the quality, uh, as I said, it looks, it looks very good. Uh, uh, the stitching all seems, uh. Uh, very well done and the the quality you know uh, it's leather 
the whole way around so there aren't like parts from what I can see that are synthetic the velcro seems strong uh, it seems very firm now it's hard to say if this velcro you know if it's gonna if it's gonna go bad you know because some gloves do have uh, bad velcro and it just doesn't stick after a while so but just judging from the fact that their product seemed to be pretty hard qual uh, good quality I would assume that the, the velcro is probably pretty good but you never know uh, you know you can always put on new velcro if that if if it doesn't uh, hold up but um, yeah they've got you know some breathability here some holes and it's pretty breathable here in the arm whereas that is a, a, a thing that I have uh, fought with the the with a pair of gloves that I had which are actually my favorite pair of gloves that I've ever had but they had that one issue and that's the ringside IMF tech uh, boxing gloves so uh, they do they do make an amazing glove it just fits perfectly and it's it's well balanced and, and everything but the issue is that it's got like a, a thing that comes over the sleeve uh, uh, that that comes over the uh, what do you call this thing the this part where you singe it together the strap it comes uh, comes down over it like uh, a sleeve it's supposed to protect against scratches and stuff in sparring but it makes it so it's almost impossible to open the glove up and dry it out so it becomes wet and damp and starts smelling funky so anyway I'd say these are you know as uh, most Muay Thai gloves I've used are pretty easy um, and openable which means that you can dry them out easily so I'm just gonna try them on for feel and I've already tried them on before um, and you know initially initially they feel pretty good you know and they they don't have the issue that I have with the Fairtex glove where where they feel too big like my hand is sitting in there perfectly uh, my fingers are grabbing onto this um, you know you have this this part where your fingers go up towards the end where it's like almost like a little uh, pocket that your fingers go into um, which feels very good um, the grip bar also feels good you know um, it's a bit stiff at the moment but um, that's surely just the padding that, that needs some breaking into it's gonna you know it's gonna become a bit softer and more comfortable after a while but it just fits very well around the hand and uh, you know it's gonna be tighter with wraps I still think you can get your wraps in here like with most gloves I think it has to be very tight for you not to be able to use the wraps and the wrist also feels good you know so in general for my hands which I think are like average average size hands they're not large but they're not very small either just very average I think these are uh, a perfect fit because I want the hand to sit in there well I want the fingers to be able to come down and I don't want them to be slipping out okay um, they got this kind of a uh, uh, stitching together with the, the thumb and here which I mean most gloves pretty much every glove but they have different types so some of them will just have a strap this is like a full leather uh, piece so I'd say that this might hold up longer than a normal one but uh, for general for review I think this is one of the best uh, Muay Thai specific gloves I've tried um, I think that there are some boxing gloves I've tried that actually feel a little bit better not around the fist but it's just how the boxing glove comes down and this the 
uh, uh, this part, if you can, what, what will I call it, the strap, where the, the sleeve, um, it's a bit longer and it just feels a bit sturdier along the arm. The thing about it is that in Muay Thai, the purpose that you have this short sleeve is supposed to be that you can bend your wrist so you have more maneuverability uh, when you're clinching. Um, and that makes sense, you know. It's hard to say for me because I'm not like a, a super... I'm not very good at the clinch. Uh, I prefer to stay on range and and uh, keep it to strikes and, and kicks. So, you know, I don't know if it's going to hinder you a lot to be a bit stiffer here. Whereas I think when you have, you have a good... Uh, stiffness it feels it feels good that you can get your punches straight and nice easily um but for all the moi the muay thai gloves that i've tried uh these are the probably uh, the best feeling and the best looking ones that i've tried so far uh so i would definitely uh recommend these if anybody is looking to buy a premium model glove. I think it's a safe bet. They're well padded. Uh, you know, this part is, is nice and, and big. So in sparring, you know, if you want to be a, a, a cool guy and, and not be the one that everybody hates, um, these are also very nice for your, your sparring partners. Uh, that, you know, when you have the really firm glove, it's kind of like, you really feel the smack in the face when someone is punching you, which can be a bit more, uh, you know, irritating than if someone has a softer glove. You can still spar intensely enough, and and it's you're not gonna be be uh, getting hurt or getting uh, worked up about it. So uh, definitely a good recommendation for an overall glove. Uh, you know. I would give this if I'm gonna rate it from from zero to a ten. I'm gonna give them a nine. So, thank you for watching this review, and stay tuned for more reviews of uh, Muay Thai products and other Muay Thai related contents. Thank you for watching.